Hey guys, Lynn Burke here, owner of Blues City Music. Thanks for stopping by. Uh, we're off site today, shooting some product videos in Simi Valley, California. We're at Stage One Rehearsing Studio, studio number four today. And we're on the north side of Los Angeles. And uh, with a very good friend of mine today is uh, coming in to take care of me on these videos, uh, my good buddy Gary Usher, Jr. Uh, thanks for coming by, Gary. Uh, Gary's from this area, uh, played here his whole life. He's a singer, songwriter, guitar player, producer, 
uh, Black Canyon Band is his band here. I actually helped uh, play with him in that band. Uh, Sprayface, uh, he was with Metal Blade Records for a long time uh, and distribution there and other uh, areas. Uh, his father is uh, well known in the music industry as well, Gary Usher Sr. It was Electra Records, Capital, RCA. He also was, uh, uh, he helped uh, found some surf music out here, very famous for that. Uh, did a lot of production for the birds. So we've got a good guy today that's going to help us with these videos. And uh, thanks for coming by, Gary. Appreciate it. So what we're going to do on this one here is the newest offering from Soldano Custom Amplification in Seattle, Washington. Guys, this is not a toy. This is the real deal amp. It's, it's not a lunchbox amp. This is a gigging amp, recording amp, practice amp, anything you need it for. Soldano Hot Rod 25. 25th anniversary for Mike Soldano. Same owner, same company, never sold. Uh, it's been Mike the whole time, still going strong. And we're still going to 11 since 1987. So this particular amp here is a two-channel amp. And why did it come into existence? Well, when we came out with a 44, now I had an idea for a powerful 112 combo, 50 watts in the same cabinetry as the Astroverb. Mike said, you know, I'm really getting this small package, but powerful amp down pad. Why don't we come up with something with two channels and uh, for guys that maybe the SLO or the Hot Rod or even the Decatone or Avenger might be too much. And this is what he came up with. It's 50 watts transformers. However, the way it's wound produces 400 plate volts instead of 480. It yields about 25 watts and it gives you that very act brown sound all the time. Okay. What you're also going to like about this one for guys that play a lot of stomp boxes. First of all, you're going to weed yourself off of them when you start playing this amp and you're going to realize the tone is too pure to be putting anything in the signal chain other than maybe some modulation, a little bit of delay. It's got a great loop. It's two buffered loop. Run anything you want in the loop, okay? So we don't have the issues we have with the studio-grade loop and the SLO. I actually prefer that loop. But uh, a lot of guys are running uh, G majors and G systems, and they like to run it in a, in a different style loop. So anyway, uh, two-channel, baby SLO, okay? Baby SLO, that's what this is. I've gigged with it everywhere. Play out here in, in Gary's band, Black Canyon band. I've uh, played outdoor gigs in Memphis, where I'm home-based out of. So what we're going to do today is do some videos on this. We've got uh, three different guitars we're running. But what I want you to notice before I talk about the guitars is the way we've dialed this in. This kind of dial-in is going to work at any small, medium uh, club. We're running a 212 Soldano cabinet that Gary usually runs with his hot rod 50-plus over here in his space box. Gary also runs, as you can see over on his right, the only in existence Blue City Music 44 Combo 112 uh, with an extension cabinet that anybody runs. I don't even have that. So he runs out on a regular basis, records with it as well. But the 25 is a perfect niche amp. So today we're pushing just a standard Soldano 212, Eminence V12, 65-watt Legends, no games. We're running this Hamer Flying V with JBs uh, in the front and rear from Seymour Duncan. And we're running a Solid Cables Dynamic Arc Ultra instrument cable. They're the best money can buy. Uh, there's no doubt about it. Niall McGahee in Portland, Oregon makes a great cable. It's all I use. And then we're going into the 25. Two 6L6s, 5881 WGCs from Softech, and we're running 512AX7. So uh, great amp for about anything you want to run. Only difference today is when he's playing some heavy charging lead on here, we've got the amp set up as follows. The overdrive master's at five, the normal master's at six. We've got normal and overdrive pre-gains are at seven. Bass at seven, mid six, treble five, presence seven. That's the way we were running these videos. And when we pulled out the Strat, when we pulled out the Les Paul, the only thing we did, we backed off the gain on both to about five, and it cleaned up fantastic. So stand by. We're going to have some good videos for you, and uh, thanks for coming by. You, uh, you can get this amp from me all day long. Uh, just give us a call at 901-485-8250. I'm based out of Memphis, Tennessee, an American recording studio. And um, you can also hit me up on the web, www.bluecitymusic.com, Blue City Music, Facebook, and Twitter. 
And you can text me too, guys, 901-485-8250. I get that international on my plan. I'm going to call you back, but you be prepared to answer a 661 Palmdale, California Skype call, okay? Blue City Music, Soldano Custom Amplification, going to 11 since 1987. guys Lindbergh Blue City Music uh, we're now going to turn the mic over to Gary Usher Jr. who's been doing the product demos for me out here in Simi Valley California on the Soldano Custom Amplification 44 combo uh, Blue City Music style as well as the Hot Rod 25 and the Hot Rod 50 plus so we're gonna let Gary tell us what brought him to Soldano what brought him to Blue City and where his tone lies and uh, how these amps perform for him. So, Gary, all about you. Uh, thank you, JB. And I know many of you guys out there appreciate the great service that, that only Blue City Music provides. I mean, it's incredible. And, you know, if you really want to know, it's that service that led me to you, which in turn led me to the great tonal possibilities of Soldano. I fell in love with my Hot Rod uh, 50 right here, right away. Uh, JB and I designed the system and, um, then, I, this was about 2009, and I was in a surf band, kind of a rock surf band, so it really kind of, I molded it, my, my tone through, you know, reverb and, and kind of playing aggressively with my right hand, but uh, this has proven to be a great system, and when I was uh, kind of doing more classic rock, uh, you know, I'd always seen JB's Blues 44, I mean, come on, who hasn't seen that, that blue and, 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 and uh, but it was a really attractive amp, and I thought, you know, I'm willing to go to go to this and and he said you know what you got to try this thing out and it just so happened that when i tried this amp out which is funny because you we all spend a lot of time looking at product videos and things and how can it translate into be a success in your in your arsenal that's always a really tricky tricky thing but i was willing to uh make the investment in it and um it turned out to be a complete winner i mean i play this thing every single night i'm on a small stage clubs all over la and this thing just gives me everything I possibly need. I'm singing a lot. I'm playing lead guitar. But what this thing does, I mean, I set, the, I set it up. I didn't ever touch it all night. I, I'm serious. It's got a transparent boost in there. 44 is a very unique sounding, uh, 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 crunchy type of amp. But you know what? You control it with your right hand and volume. That's, how, that's what it, it meant to me. I can get everything out of this guitar, out of my guitar, out of this amp. No problem, whether it's bad company, whether it's just regular cover material, or I'm doing slower stuff or 80s stuff, you name it, I've got it. So the Blues 44, guys, check this amp out. Um, they are available, um, and, and it's a screamer, man. And it's uh, it's definitely an eye-popping uh, 
Beautiful amplifier. I put that thing on stage, and man, everybody asked me, whoa, I've never seen that before. I've heard of Sildana, but I have not seen that blue. I've not seen that 44. But uh, again, thank you very much, Len. Uh, your company is fantastic. I'm, uh, I'm a lifer, and uh, what, a, what a great player you are, and you've lent uh, so many uh, sound words of advice to my playing and my tone. So um, not only from me, from all of your fans out there, we thank you very much. We'll talk to you guys soon. My name is Gary Usher from uh, the Black Canyon Band and Sprayface. Come check us out online, and uh, I hope you enjoy the videos. Thank you very much. Thank you, Gary. And uh, stand by. we got some more videos for you. Blue City Music.